ready to go, Kitty? We didn't have any champagne to celebrate, so I christened our brand new truck with fresh homemade carrot juice. The GPS took us on a spontaneous scenic route with sketchy roads through Massachusetts, and then we learned how to navigate the trucker diesel section at the truck stops. We hit Connecticut just in time for rush hour traffic and a beautiful sunset. In case you're wondering where on earth we're going, David ordered something online that's being custom made for our ATC toy hauler, and it wouldn't arrive before we left. So we're driving all the way to the coast of Alabama to pick it up. And now the GPS is trying to take us the wrong way again. What is the exit? 185. Why are we taking that? We're in Pennsylvania right now and all of the rest areas seem to be full. In fact, we're driving by one right now and you can see these tractor trailers parked on the shoulder because they have nowhere else to go. And neither do we, so we're gonna keep driving. It's late and we're tired, but we finally found a place to crash for the night. So I'm gonna warm myself up with a cup of soup and go to bed. Good morning. This is where we landed late last night. We found it by chance after striking out twice with places I found on freecampsites.net. This TA Travel Center had a sign with a designated area for cars and RVs, which I have not seen at a TA Travel Center before. This place was quiet, we got a decent night's sleep, and I do recommend it if you're driving through Harrisburg. There's a truck towing a car next to us that asked David for some help this morning because they were having issues with towing. So after he did what he could for them, we hit the road again, and it looks like we're driving into a big rainstorm so what do you think about one of these instead of a camper van renovation? There are so many gorgeous places in the southwest that have super rugged terrain and would not be appropriate for towing our toy hauler, but this could be perfect. So while I'm sitting here at the truck stop, I thought I'd also show you the addition that we made to the cat perch. If you haven't seen the cat perch video yet, I will link that in the description below. Before we hit the road, David ordered this netting that is being held up by some aluminum bar stock and it's all screwed into the wood platform. This is just an extra safety barrier for the cats in case we stop short. After getting stuck in traffic for a while, we decided to stop at this rest area and let the cats stretch their legs. I don't think they appreciated it much because the noise inside the toy hauler was pretty loud. The views were nice, but we didn't stay here long. This is the second day in a row David has randomly been approached by someone. He doesn't think you can tow it with a truck. Not saying like, you probably could, but his tongue was just gonna kill you. Oh, well, what, the ATC? Turns out it was a guy admiring our ATC and asking David tons of questions while he was pumping gas. Our next stop is Northern Tennessee, where we're going to rest for the night. For breakfast, I'm having some grain-free hot cereal. It's made by that same company that makes the soup I had the other night. And the only ingredients are dried apples, organic flax meal, walnuts, shredded coconut, almond flour, ground cinnamon, and sea salt. And super easy for travel because it's just a packet of this and hot water. I'll post links to my travel food in the description for you. It's been a pretty cold trip so far. It was in the 30s last night where we stayed in Kingsport, Tennessee. I found reviews for this Walmart on freecampsites.net and it did emphasize to call ahead and get permission from the manager. I think it's a good idea to always get permission anyway. Not all Walmarts allow this and I think it's really kind of them to allow people to stay here. But after looking at the parking lot, who knows how long that will even last. I noticed trash all over the areas where people stay overnight in their cars. After getting back on the road, we started to notice the roads in Tennessee are much smoother than they have been on this trip. Pennsylvania was the worst. We kept thinking we had a flat tire. The truck was 
was literally bouncing up and down like a pogo stick. Once we made it to Chattanooga, I decided to scope out a Whole Foods in the area. There are three. This one seemed like the easiest to navigate. Thankfully, the parking lot across the street was empty, so we parked there. Because look at these unnecessary islands. We would never fit. The configuration of this parking lot is one example of why finding healthy organic food when you're towing a trailer is extra challenging, especially when you're new at it. But David did a great job. Whew. Welcome to Georgia. Take exit 167 on the left for I-59 South toward Birmingham. We're just leaving Steele, Alabama, where we stayed at that amazing rest area last night. It actually had a dump station so you could drain your black and gray tanks. Security, bathrooms, covered picnic areas, a pet area. In fact, every other rest area we've passed has been just as nice as the one we stayed at last night. So I have to say Alabama wins with rest areas. After all this driving, we're finally gonna have a chance to relax for a couple of days. I just booked a campsite right on the water that's not far from where we need to go to pick up that item we ordered for our ATC toy hauler. After a quick online search, I learned this is quite an attraction and it's there to symbolize that Spanish fort is open for business. Does this look like the entrance to a state park to you? We passed it the first time. We had to do a U-turn towing our trailer and then drive all the way back across town to find a place to turn around and come back. The important thing is we're here, we made it. Now it's time to detach the trailer and drop off the cats. So excited to show you around here, give you the scoop, and take you on a little field trip to pick up something new for our toy hauler. That is to come next time. Make sure you're subscribed. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like.